Hey guys, Jengar here. Welcome to today's realistic review in which we are taking a look at the RE 2001 CN getting a 2.7 battle rating in the Italian Reggiani line. The newest addition to that line, this plane, is a fantastically fun jack of all trades sitting at 2.7 battle rating and we're gonna take a good look at her. But let me first remind you that I have a Patreon account up since not too long and if you want to support me with a donation you can find the link in the description below so i definitely appreciate if you do that and let's continue with the review shall we the maximum speed in this plane at sea level without whip is 225 kilometers an hour without whip and 435 with whip at 4500 meters this is 407 without whip and 415 with whip and finally at 6500 meters it'll go up to 372 without whip and 382 with whip now the whip is not spectacular the whip is also not really usable as this plane overheats like a maniac of course the speeds i mentioned are in indicated air speeds without mech so i'm not using mech and without mech this plane overheats like a crazy person it is absolutely amazing and you cannot web from the airfield for too long because you barely um, left the airfield when this plane will be in the red already and uh, it is uh, it is quite severe the plane still flies and performs pretty nice though without using web but even after flying at 100% for a little bit you have to go to 95% to cool the plane off so there is that to take into account this plane requires constant heat management top speed in a dive of this plane is 704 before she redlines and 780 before she rips apart now that is quite decent but it is not spectacular it is not one of the best planes when it comes to speed at this battle rating but it is also not one of the worst so it's a bit of average the top speed in the dive the control stiffening starts at 550 and becomes more severe at 650 although i i did not find it too bad the roll rate on this plane is above average and it only gets the average in, in the high end of the dive so the plane doesn't lose that much um, responsiveness uh, at the higher speeds and that is great the control uh, and the handling in a dive is actually quite nice and uh, that makes this plane quite nice because you can still um, you know get guns on the, on a target when you uh, when you go into that dive the stall speed is also quite nice with 130 would actually call that good compared to many of the other planes at this battle rating uh, the firepower is great, this plane has two 20mm MG-151 cannons with 60 rounds per gun, I used air targets for those. Uh, it is supported by two 12.7mm Breda Savat machine guns with 350 rounds per gun, also used air targets there. I used a 600m convergence and uh, if you want to load a bomb on this thing it can actually carry a 250kg bomb which is uh, the only loadout that it has but it has a loadout if you would want it to I wouldn't recommend it to be honest because you will have big troubles getting to altitude then you have to climb without web in this plane and the plane can actually do that that's the funny thing about it it climbs well enough to uh, to have a chance to actually be up there with other planes and that is fantastic but um, the web and the overheating in the plane is uh, takes quite a bit of your attention and uh, from one um, dogfight using web here and there you definitely uh, are capable of cooking the engine into the red and even into the leaping numbers <laughs> so be careful with the overheating in this plane the overall firepower is great and the ammo load is below average almost bad i would say if you look at those cannon rounds only 60 for the mg 151s acceleration in a plane in a straight line is decent and in the dive it's good the energy retention in the horizontal is good and in the vertical it's decent when you are rolling though in the vertical it loses a lot of energy and it doesn't get very high at all so yeah it bleeds energy while you roll in a climb so be careful there 
don't do that and try to keep her uh, unmoving when you zoom up you, of course you got to make sure that your enemies are uh, not on you at that time otherwise just extend in the horizontal for a little bit until you made a gap and then you can just start climbing again the climb rate in the plane is good as i said turn time is good very good with flaps flaps really make a difference and the flaps only rip off at 500 kilometers an hour which is quite good so only in a dive do you rip off those flaps they are quite usable and uh, pretty sturdy the roll rate in the plane as i said above average and the overall maneuverability is decent to good decent without flaps and good with flaps the overheating in the plane is very bad it is absolutely very bad it is uh, up there in no time the temperature and it is difficult to pull off you have to really get it below 100 and you got to keep it below 100 at a certain point so you don't get all the performance this plane can have with 100 percent once you get into the overheating phase the durability is decent it can take a hit or two which is uh, which is quite nice so a good armament on the plane it is a 2.7 battle rating and mg 151s are not normal there so you have very good cannons uh, at the battle rating it's at but of course it is only 60 rounds ammo and that's not a lot of course it is uh, added to with uh, two braiders of what uh, 12.7 millimeters which are good machine guns in theory but uh, the Italian machine guns are a bit touch and go they don't always do the best damage that's zero by the way got away and he crashed so I didn't get that kill well I critted him I hit him and I put him on fire but uh, no cigar for me on that zero which was quite disappointing as um, as I see that a lot these days, that's, that's something I want to talk about in a separate video, but uh, the assists and uh, what you have to do to get an assist are quite annoying. It took away the assist when you uh, make hits, and sometimes when you have smaller calibers on a plane you get a lot of hits, and you were basically feeding off assists for your Silver Lions and RP, because you were making so many hits and peppering a plane and stuff like that. And then you, and sometimes you wouldn't even receive a kill when you get only hit and you just kill the plane and he crashes for example uh, 100 meters from the airfield. Uh, that is quite problematic that hits are now suddenly a problem when it comes to uh, rewards. And uh, I definitely want to talk about that because I was quite enthusiastic about Gaijin and increasing the rewards but now that they've done this it, it, it you know, equals each other out and it, it's not good. Anyway, this really is a nice jack of all trades. It's quite uh, maneuverable. The plane can actually uh, maneuver with most planes it faces. Uh, of course, not the Zero that I faced earlier, but uh, Spitfires are in, in generally uh, not a problem for this plane in my experience when it comes to maneuvering. And that's quite nice. The energy fighting is also acceptable. It is not spectacular, especially because of the uh, behavior of the plane in the vertical when you make maneuvers. It does lose speed there and that is um, unfortunate. But uh, for the rest it is, it is quite nice as an energy uh, fighter if you keep it a bit uh, disciplined and don't roll and, and climb at the same time. That would help. And it, also boom and it can also boom and zoom a little bit which is um, it is not the most spectacular plane there uh, because of the um, but the energy retention in the vertical of course so you got a boom and run basically most of the time that's the better idea <coughs> and it still has decent um, top speed in a dive so th that's pretty good all right let's see what we got for that performance We've got uh, Terror of the Sky, Bulletproof, On Hands, 58,000 Silver Lines and 5,000 Research Points with those 4 kills. Hey guys, so here we are after the match. Now, uh, let me first get into that hit thing one more time because that last match should have been 5 kills before I got killed by that uh, gunner on the, uh, on the B-34. I had 2 fights with people that I got hits on and they both died crashed uh, but uh, I didn't get the cigar 
And I find that uh, quite frustrating, I have to say, even when you do uh, crits on people, sometimes you do not get the kills. And the Gaijin really has to do something about it. Also with the assists, if you have a uh, small caliber machine only, you are bound to have more assists and get a lot of hits. And if you don't get crit uh, uh, assists anymore from those hits, you might end up with uh, those planes being very difficult to... Um, paid and to fly with to get uh, the rewards you need so there is that and that is a bit frustrating but this plane of course does have the two 20 millimeter mg 151s which are fantastic i love those cannons the ammo load is very small though and it, that is unfortunate but this plane is a lot of fun i have to say despite the ammo load despite the terrible overheating which is definitely an issue this plane is a jack of all trades that can easily transition between decent performance as a turn fighter, as an energy fighter and as a boom and zoomer. And uh, if you um, work on your trigger patience, this plane can definitely net you a lot of kills and a lot of good results. It's a fun plane and it makes me enthusiastic to think about the future of the Reggiani line because there's a lot more in store and whatever comes next is better than this one. And quite significantly better than this one still so i i hope they um, i'm looking forward to seeing those and i hope they have less overheating than this plane guys i hope you enjoyed the video i want to thank you all for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye bye if you're new here make sure to hit the subscribe button become part of this community if you are already a subscriber don't forget to like the video do leave me a comment and if you really feel like helping out today, make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel.